Uh, one more thing I want to show you is um, how we can customize Rider more to our visual needs. And uh, I will start with the most important one, uh, and that is probably switching between themes. So we have an action here, um, also in the go to action menu, a quick switch scheme. And it's interesting, I just found out today actually, uh, usually I'm switching my themes through the editor color scheme. Um, but we can also switch it through the themes uh, uh, point here. And what's interesting about that, I don't even need to confirm, but while I switch through the themes, I will automatically get a preview of what my IDE will look like, of what Rider will look like after I apply those schemes. And what's interesting also, like uh, some folks uh, might want to use the Visual Studio Lite theme, uh, but what's interesting compared to the Rider Light theme is you see it in the background uh, that, let's go back for a second, that much of the uh, identifiers for methods and properties are actually just uh, black. And with the Rider Light theme, for instance, we can also see that uh, methods, for instance, are uh, having uh, probably in a different file. Um, Methods will have this green, whereas properties uh, have uh, have a different color. Okay, and we can, of course, and material uh, theme UI is probably one of the most uh, known theme plugins for that. Uh, if you have a account, uh, if, if you have a JetBrains account, and you go here, you can even decide to install that plugin uh, from right here in the web browser. I uh, will tell you, check your IDE, and if I move over here, uh, I get the dialog uh, to confirm installation of the plugin. So the Material Theme UI plugin has a lot more uh, tweaks that we can use to customize our, our UI uh, to yeah, fit uh, our visual needs, maybe even uh, with high contrast modes and all that stuff, or, um, or any other thing. Uh, what else can uh, we can do is, from the go to action menu, we can also decide to remove a couple of things. So for instance, if uh, I'm not interest, interested in the navigation bar, uh, I have a wonderful switch here, which I can just uh, hit basically, and then the navigation bar up here is hidden. I can do the same with the status bar, for instance. Status bar is hidden. Uh, line numbers, uh, basically the same. And if you are really interested in um, hiding all your your tool windows and all that stuff. There's also the uh, distraction free mode, distraction free mode, and that didn't work because I have configured it <laughs> in a different way. I'm sorry, uh, but then there's also the Zen mode, uh, which will hide everything. But last time I was using it, it <laughs> I, I was showing some some tool windows. But that will basically hide all the tool windows and you can just concentrate on your code. Okay, then I can just exit the Zen mode again. Um, but there's also a shortcut to hide all the tool windows. Uh, that is one that I usually use. And you can see all the tool windows will restore uh, if I use that shortcut. Other than that, I can also go into the, uh, into the settings and for instance, search for white spaces and I can, uh, in a very detailed way describe if I want to show white spaces uh, when they're leading, when they're inside a method call, for instance, or in a string, or if uh, only if they're trailing, which is my preferred way, because I'm usually not interested in uh, white spaces when they are uh, up here. But if you see, if I hit enter, then I'm not sure if you can see that, but here we have several dots which indicate there is a, uh, is a white space. And it's interesting also, that uh, for white spaces, we have the uh, opportunity to, uh, hopefully I can find it, um, to delete trailing spaces uh, when we save a file so that we don't need to bother uh, about, about white spaces. 